What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Today's the day. Look what finally came in. Yes, our new Model 3 is here. Let's go ahead and take a quick walkthrough. Super excited guys. We have made a couple changes already to it. I want to go over some of the accessories and uh, let's check this beauty out. All right, here it is guys. The new Tesla Model 3, the 2020 version of the standard range plus. Uh, I know Tesla never normally has done years in the past. However, ever since production has started in, I believe October, 2019, they are actually starting to go into detail with model years, just to kind of keep it across the board, even with what the competitors are doing. You can see there is not much else different design wise to these vehicles. Looks pretty comparable. I don't want to get my license plate in the picture, but this is that metallic silver white interior. Uh, I love the look of this. Let me go ahead and open the back seat for you guys as well. You can see just how good it looks. One thing that was pretty interesting, guys, is the software that this version came on. It was originally not 2019.40.2. It was actually 2019.40. 35.102 uh, it was an interesting version interesting model however we actually just got the update this morning after we took delivery on the car and it already did push us to that new update i just spoke of the 2019 40.2 it has added a couple new release notes these are only for self-driving with the full self-driving feature i should say um, especially just this one for auto steer it has a new stop sign warning, so it'll start recognizing stop lights and stop signs. That is a huge, huge increase of what it was capable of doing before. I just took it around the block. I haven't seen it kick in yet. I did turn on auto steer. However, I'm still not sure what is really going to, to trigger it. But aside from that, guys, um, you have your standard affair on Model 3. I do want to make one call out. Maybe I'm just weird about it, but I have a buddy that has the 2019 year uh, of the Model 3, same standard range plus, and I do not have the option here for the fog lights. The fog lights are installed. They're in the beginning on the front of the vehicle, but they're not actionable. You can't turn them on. So strange that they would not add that feature. I'm not sure why. I know it is on the premium uh, interior. However, he has the partial premium, exact same layout as I do, uh, but nothing, nothing's reflecting on my dash like he has. Aside from that, you do have all your regular things that Tesla is known for. You have your autopilot, autopilot, how to navigate on autopilot, all your regular settings here. I'm not going to do a walkthrough of all these. There's plenty of other videos out there that can show you the same thing. There is no other new updates aside from web browsers being available on standard range plus uh, as of the last couple of months or so you do still have your streaming music capabilities i do have a new range a lot of people were actually clamoring about it is a hardware fix to get you to the 250 mile range uh, and when i do charge it i do get to 250 it does not turn off at 240. aside from that obviously like i said standard affairs backup camera your voice search your charging uh, and everything else that comes typical. We're going to be doing a lot more hands-on with this model in the near future, but I'm going to give you a sneak peek really quick to some of those uh, basically accessories that I added that I was talking about. First things first, pretty simple. It is that wireless charger. It is so clean and so reasonable on Amazon. There's no reason not to go out and grab one. All you need to do is put your phone down, and you can see the light comes on and we're wirelessly charging right there. You even have a second spot there as well. I did get a liner just to go with the white seats as well, which you can kind of get a look at in there. I just thought I'd add it a little bit. These do not come with any sort of floor mats or anything. So I got these, this is still unfolding. Like I said, it's kind of a work in progress, but you can kind of see what they would look like in the vehicle itself. Um, aside from that, I did show you guys on the outside of the vehicle, you do have those aero wheels that come standard, but I did put the new um, the actual rims outside. I popped off the aero rims and now you have the actual full rim showing. I think it looks a lot cleaner, 
than what some of the other uh the aero wheels offer you and aside from that probably still one of my favorite features that panoramic sunroof all the way back it looks great i'm super excited to use this vehicle if you guys have any questions in regards to anything tesla related leave a comment down below we're going to be doing a lot more videos in regards to this the one thing i forgot to show you guys is the trunk actually and you can see just how massive it is inside again nothing different than past years but i just wanted to give you guys a look at it and you can see how deep the side compartment is it goes down pretty far to store some other valuables as well and you have all that storage below additionally now that's for the actual regular trunk let's go look at the front So we have your front, like I said, I did again, have to add this mat in here. There was nothing that came with the car, unfortunately. I wish it would have been, uh, it would have been convenient for them to include this just to cover up the plastic baseline. However, one thing I do want to call out is that there are no more bag hooks or whatever you'd like to call it for the front. Those are missing now for this new year. But that's it guys. I did just want to add that to it and show you what else did offer welcome to the family silver surfer we will catch you in the next one see ya